Hello everyone. Before I start this planetary introduction, let me just tell you that this is an extended version, not only because I want an awesome planet, but also because I wanted to talk about portals, how to find portals, which seems to be a hot topic, and there will also be a portal on this planet. So just stick around. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. This is BCA Trek signing in. Uh, today we're going to talk about a moon called Blue Portal, and you'll see in a second why it's called Blue Portal. It's uh, located within the NMSL Helios system. Uh, these are names for PC, by the way, in the No Man's Sky Love Hub, close to the center of the Euclid galaxy. It has humid weather, minimal sentinels, numerous flora and sporadic fauna. Let's swoop down and see what we got. So here we are cruising along the surface of the moon and it's a quite pleasant to look at. The host planet Styx is in the background. It has a blue surface and lo and behold here is a portal and of course that's why it's been baptized blue portal. And I must say, it's very hard to find such a beautiful planet or a moon, as it were. The temperatures on this planet range from about negative 15 to negative 20 degrees Celsius at night. It's not enough for the hazard protection to be activated. There are no storms, so it is an excellent planet to be on if you want a calm, chill experience. And this is, of course, accentuated by the beautiful color palette that, this, that the surface is bathing in. Just look at the blue grass and the contrast with the rusty red in the trees together with the green and earth tones in the in the small bushes here it's quite a pleasure to behold the planet boasts of 11 animal species a little bit of a mix between swimming walking and flying creatures so you have a little bit of everything there is quite a large amount of water on the moon a uh, fairly small amount of rigogen underneath the surface uh, there is rigogen but not too much i wouldn't rely on this moon for rigogen collection even though it has lots of water and this uh, moon is still unclaimed on pc so who will be the lucky one to live in such a beautiful place with a portal. So I wanted to spend just a minute to talk about how to find portals because there are a lot of theories around. Uh, if you read on Reddit or Facebook or other places, you'll see people asking about how did you find your portals. Actually, I found this portal based off of Ty Beecham's uh, video on how he found his portal on PS4. But even if I wouldn't have known that there was a portal somewhere in the area, the question is, how would I search for it in the most effective way? Well, uh, number one is not to fly too fast, uh, so that you're not missing any features, and that you also give time for the features to render in, even though portals do render in much sooner than the... Um, landscape so you can see them for quite far away number two is to gain altitude so that you can see more of the landscape just like i did here uh, that's very important and number three to make it a habit to engage photo mode because in photo mode you can look around and you can look around noticing many different features that you miss if you're just flying and it might seem uh, unnecessary but it's really very helpful there's so many times I have found missing features in photo mode even though they were like in plain sight from the cockpit as I was looking out of my ship so anyway 
if you decide to pay this uh, beautiful little moon a visit, here are the coordinates. Bye-bye for now.